This is the story of Michael bought a 1961 Impala and didn't tell his wife. I was on tour with Big Boy of Outkast. We were friends for a very long time, and then we had a spat, a breakup, like two college girls, and we weren't friends for a few years. And then something tragic happened, and we became friends again, and we cried, kind of like an episode of Golden Girls, and hugged each other. While, you know, we were in a moment of sentiment, and he was feeling guilty, and I was feeling guilty, I convinced him to sell me an immaculate 1961 four-door Impala that had basically sat under a tree for three years. And now the patina's there, I'm gonna leave it like that. But Let's get back to pissing my wife off. I bought the car and I made everyone promise not to tell her because she hates when I spend money like that and don't consult with her. We come home off tour because Big Boy hurts his leg attempting to be Michael Jordan on stage when he's just a rapper. And I had the car shipped to my cousin's house and I hadn't told her. And DJ Swift, who's Outkast DJ, we were drinking because he has a very cool basement. It's kind of like a bar or a juke joint. We were drinking and he looks right past me. He knows I haven't told my wife and he says, so killer, what are you gonna do with that car you bought? And I said, what car are you talking about? And he says, that 1961 Impala you bought from Big Boy. And I'm like, what 1961 Impala you bought from Big Boy? So needless to say, my wife was really calm about it. We had a great night. And I said to myself, man, I wonder if I got away with it. We got in the truck about an hour and a half later on the way home. And at this point, I'm sure I'm getting away with it. And she turns around and looks at me and says, so you bought a car and then tell me, huh? And I was like, what are you talking about? And then she viciously attacked me and hit me in my head with her $3,000 Gucci purse. Women, if you're angry at your man for spending five or $7,000 on a car, maybe you should evaluate the type of purse you're carrying first because if there's not a problem with you carrying a $3,000 piece of dead cow that no one in the world cares about except other chicks who buy $300 hair and $1,000 shoes, I don't think you should be angry with a man that buys something that you can actually put your beautiful ass in. That's my spiel on that. If you see her, I didn't say this. Go.